Welcome back. And in our top business story, Abu Dhabi's Supreme Petroleum Council has chosen French company Total as the first partner in the new oil company formed to steward the Emirates prime oil fields for the next four decades. In a major milestone for the country's oil industry, picking Total as the first stakeholder in the new concession was the culmination of a year-long process in which the council, with the advice of the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, ABNOC, evaluated the bids of 11 companies looking for a stake in the new concession to manage and develop the country's 15 major onshore oil fields, which account for more than half of the country's current production capacity of about 3 million barrels per day. The oil fields represent the largest source of Abu Dhabi's wealth, bringing in between 50 billion US dollars and 60 billion in revenue last year, when world oil prices averaged nearly 100 US dollars a barrel. In a statement via state news agency WAM, Agnock said, said that by this agreement, Total, which presented the best technical and commercial offers, receives a 10% participating interest in the new concession and is appointed asset leader for the Southeast and Buhasa Integrated Asset Groups, with effect from the January the 1st, 2015, while additional companies will also be added soon. The stake is higher than the 9.5% total held in the old company, which had run the concession that oversaw onshore oil production from 1939, soon after oil was first discovered in Abu Dhabi, until it expired at the start of last year. Adnock had 60% of the old company with BP, Royal Dutch Shell and ExxonMobil each also holding 9.5% and Partex, the remaining small share. Abu Dhabi-based business tycoon Dr. B. R. Shetty has taken over the majority shares in London-based foreign exchange giant Travelex in a deal valued at over a billion pounds. According to reports, along with Abu Dhabi private equity house Centurion Investments, he agreed last year to buy Travelex, the world's largest foreign exchange specialist, from a private equity firm Apex Partners and founding chairman Lloyd Dorfman. Shetty is the fifth richest Indian in the Gulf, and according to reports, it took him over seven months to finalise the deal. Shetty also revealed that both the UA Exchange and Travelex will continue their business in their separate domains under a new holding company, which will then go for an initial public offering in the third quarter of 2016. Over 2 million tourists visited Sharjah last year, with the tourism sector contributing more than 8% to the gross income of the Emirates. In recent years, Sharjah has put itself on the global map as a tourist destination, and it was the capital of Islamic culture for 2014. It was also chosen as the tourism capital of the Arab world for this year at the Arab Tourism Ministers' Summit in Cairo in November. According to Mohammed Ali Al Noman, the Sharjah Chairman of Commerce and Tourism Development Authority, the Emirates hotel industry reported 75 to 80 percent occupancy rates last year, with over 105 hotels and apartment hotels providing 10,000 rooms. He added that the sector contributed 7 billion dirhams of the 83 billion gross income for Sharjah, with ports in the Emirates seeing 238,000 international cruise tourists arriving further contributing to the improved overall tourist figures. Sharjah aims to attract 3 million tourists and provide 15,000 hotel rooms by 2020. Hotel occupancy in the Middle East rose to its highest level in five years in 2014, as according to the latest figures. Data from STR Global also showed that room rates were still some way below the pre-downturn peak of 2008. The data revealed that the Middle East had one of its lowest supply growths in the last six years. With a 9% increase in demand, occupancy reached 68.8%. Elizabeth Winkle, the managing director of STR Global, was quoted as saying that this level was last seen in 2008, although the rate perspective in US dollar terms has remained flat this year. 
The region reported a 3.8% increase in occupancy to 63.3%, a 1% increase in average daily rate to 165 US dollars and 97 cents, and a 4.9% increase in revenue per available room to 105 US dollars and 13 cents. Abu Dhabi hotels had the highest increase in ADR, up 9.7% to 159 US dollars and 85 cents. While four markets reported double-digit RevPAR increases, including Doha up 23.5% and Abu Dhabi up 20.5%.